Hello, my name is Samira. In this video, I am going to introduce one of the new Agile tools called Target Process. This is the overview of my talk. First, the whole idea of Agile software development in, is addressed briefly. Then, its concept and some of the main features are presented. Next, the tool is illustrated by a demo. Finally, the summary is presented. What is Agile? Agile is a time box iterative approach to software delivery that builds software incrementally from the start of the project instead of trying to deliver it, it all at once near the end. Target Process is an agile project management software for Scrum, Kanban, and any other custom process. Target Process features include support mobile platform, iOS and Android. Scrum supports including backlog, relays, planning, sprints, burn down chart. Kanban supports include Kanban board, collimative follow diagram, lead and cycle time tracking. Development process such as workflow, terms, custom fields, bug tracking, time tracking, requirements, and finally data visualization. Let's go through some basic domain model to see how it works in the structure of target process. A project is the main place for storing information. So when we start it, the first thing we need to do is adding a project. Next, we need to add some users to the system and then assign them to work on a project. Then we need to add some work to our project. There are different requirement entity in the target process. Chess features, user story, task, and bug, and each one has a specific color. Projects plan with release and iteration. When we have larger and more complicated project, we can use team entity. This will help us to expand our work in larger projects or in multiple projects. Now let's start a demo using target process. First, login using username and password. We review target process interface. On the left of a screen, there is list of views and you can create custom views to see your information from many different per perspectives and visualize your data in different ways. The center of a screen is where your content is displayed and your cards are shown based uh, on the view you selected. At the top there is a team and project selector. This is where different projects and teams can be selected to be shown in the views. You can select multiple projects or teams you want and then click show. New project and team can also be added from project and team selectors. First you fill the name and select the processor, we use a scrum, select the team and then create the project. You also can create a team. and assign uh, people by using their emails. Then select the project and create team. New entities can be quickly added from add selectors. First select the type of entity and just fill the field. When you want to add more details to entity right way, just click add and open. This will open the entity and you can add description or add comments.
You can also update assignment or other details. There is also a tab menu in the right side. You can access different reports, profile, and settings. You can also search items not displayed on your view. In target process, you can create different way of viewing information by using boards. New boards can be added using create button on the left. You can use different templates to create a board or use your custom. Let's start to create a new board. Type the name of your board. Then from the setup panel, you can customize what cards you want to see in this view. Any changes will save automatically without refreshing the page. You can also set vertical and horizontal lanes. And sort the lanes based on different features. Swapping uh, horizontal and vertical lanes is so easy. Another target process feature is that each lane can be filtered to show what exactly you want. You can use a question mark and search. If you are done, you can share your board from Access tab and you can add the person you want to share. Or you can change it to public or private. Finally, you save the changes. Now let's start to work with the board. You can update the status of each entity simply by dragging and dropping. Just select the item and then move it to the each column you want. You can also select multiple items and move them to other columns. You can also update the priority by dragging the item and hold the shift key. Highest priority are at the top of the column. If you want, you can increase and decrease the size of column. And you can focus on one column. You can select that column and click focus. This will hide other columns and we can concentrate on desired column. After you're done, you click exit and return back to the original display. You can also zoom in and zoom out by using the zoom slider. Zoom out just shows the color boxes and zoom in shows more details on the card. If you want to find something in your board, you can use quick filter at the top. It is safe because it is only for you and will not change dataset view. To find something more specific, you can use advanced filter by typing a question mark and create your query to find what you're looking for. For example, find the entity that their description is not known.
There is also a help that explains how to use advanced filter. So far we have been looking at board mode. Another mode is one by one mode. In this mode you can see the details, add description and update properties. You can also change the priority of the task. The next mode is list view, which gives the level of hierarchy display and easily change the priority of them. And you can sort the entities. Finally, the timeline mode. You can see when the entity is started, or processed, or ended. Now let's start a Scrum project using target process. When you log in, just click Scrum to start it. The key to a good Scrum is to have everyone on the same page or in target process on the same board. Choose the right board and get your work done faster. This is a template for a Scrum, but as we mentioned before, you can add new views or customize each view. It is easy to add project by identifying the color and invite user via email to participate in the project. You can quickly add feature or user stories. In this view, you can easily add comments and add descriptions. And changing the priority of user story are the same as before. If you want to estimate your story, go to estimation view and use drag and drop for estimation. For planning and release, go to release section and add release. Select a start and end date. Then you can use dragging and drop. Planning the sprint is the same as release. You can add a sprint, select the release, and start date and the end date, and then add. Then use the drag and drop.
You can see each person assignment in the work by person board and use drag and drop to change assignment of user. You can also check your assignment in my work board. If you want to break a story to task, you can open it and add task and estimate your task. First, add the, all the tasks you want. Then change the estimate. If manager wants to know about project status, you can show the reports from top menu. Now let's show some Kanban features. In the first page, click on Kanban. Kanban board in target process will do everything to help you. Visualize work, focus on the important, hide the irrelevant, prioritize in batches, and more important one, it represents the flow of work items in company. First, select projects and teams from project and team selector. It will only show entities related to the projects you selected. Same as before, you can use drag and drop to change the status of each entity. Changing the setup is uh, the same as before, just click action, setup view. For example, you can select person for horizontal lane. It shows each user tasks and entities. If you want to focus on one user entities, just select it and click on Focus. There is different charts for Kanban project. Process control charts shows distribution of cycle time of all completed entities. Cycle time distribution bar show how many entities were completed within a given cycle time. Relation network is a visualization of direct hidden dependency relations between any entities. Another report is cumulative flow diagram. You can select your project and assess its status using this chart. Summary of this overview is that Target Process is an agile project manager for a small and mid-sized teams. It supports a Scrum, Kanban, and your custom process, and it is a software development management tool. On one small screen, you can easily juggle the many boards you've created in Target Process. You can track progress, add new work, mark things as done, and look up any details. Thank you for your attention. <music>